Okay, so if you don't know this, um, I watch a lot of current TV, and especially the Young Turks. They are my main source of uh, news, and I look at them as a real unbiased uh, news thing. You know, they criticize both parties, just like how, you know, the news should, you know, present the motherfucking facts, which is what TYT does. They present the fucking facts. They don't try to shove their views down people's throats. They try to do a very honest job. No bias there. Fox News is total bullshit with conservative crap. And I would even say, um, MSNBC is Fox News for Democrats. Except for a handful of people who criticize Democrats. In fact, Jenk Huger, the host of TYT, used to work for MSNBC, but was fired because he was criticizing Democrats and really, you know, you know, do, actually doing his fucking job as a reporter to report the news, you know, ask questions, you know, do what... Cronkite would have done. So, yeah. But this isn't about the Young Turks and me loving them, their show, and um, <clears throat> they're, them as a reliable news source. I'm sorry, I'm a really shitty cold. Um, so, yeah, this is about Fox News and their criticism of Raza Aslan. Reza Aslan. I probably mispronounced the shit out of that guy's name, but you know he's a Muslim and he's um he did a book on Jesus. Now many idiots, idiot goyims. You know what a goyim is? It's a Yiddish word for a stupid Christian, and that's what Fox News is. It's full of stupid right-wing religious idiots. In fact, I don't even know why this guy even accepted an interview from Fox considering the fact that they were going to, you know, be like, Why would a Muslim do a, do a book on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? He says, basically, yo. He doesn't say yo. He says, look, I am a scholar of religion. I'm very fascinated by Jesus Christ. But the dumb bitch is like, hey! And if you're like, oh, well, 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 you call, well, you call, um, the, the host a woman a bitch, right? No, Sean Haney's a bitch. Or Slimbaugh's a bitch. Glenn Beck's a fucking cunt. There. Bitch and cunt are, inter are interchangeable in my mind. A man can be a cunt, and a woman can be a cunt. Vice versa with bitch. Going back to this guy. And they're still beating this guy down, saying, oh, like, wow, how dare you, how dare you. I'm thinking myself, like, hey, idiot, ask him about the book. Say, like, if I were a reporter, I would say, now, why Jesus Christ out of all the other religious prophets? And I would also say, and if he said, well, Jesus Christ has been someone I've been very fascinated in. I would say, now, what does your book contain about Jesus Christ? And if he said this, 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 and gave examples about how his book would be, and then I would ask how long it took him to find these facts, like how much of his life did he spend doing this, you know, and, um, you know, I would ask him about his book and what he found out about Jesus Christ. That's what I would ask him. Hey, I'm a Jew. I'm Jewish and I'm interested in Jesus Christ. Because there's a great quote by Gandhi. You're Christ I like. You're Christians I don't like. Because unfortunately a lot of quote-unquote Christians, unless they're a Christian who actually looks at the Bible and says it teaches me love, rather than these right-wing idiots on Fox News who clearly don't know what the fuck their own holy book says. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, what can I say about the whole interview thing? Well, Fox News is full of idiots. And, yeah, Fox News is just full of fucking idiots. 
I'm Darth Bryboy. Live long and prosper and have a great day.